Hi guys, this is Gorax. Today is ninth day on EU63 server. Um, my power is 232,000 because I already opened 20 uh, Astrologa summons. Uh, I forgot I'm gonna record later on tonight and I did it in the morning. Uh, however, I'm gonna do another pool. Um, the reason for that is I want to get 20 shots of Vidomina. And hopefully I will uh, get some uh, more shots from uh, this even here. Even if I don't, um, the next Necropolis week I'll get five and I'll probably unlock her. I want to unlock her because see, when you get to this uh, PvP uh, Kingdom Wars, you want to have one hero of each faction because you'll need it in the arena. And uh, I won't be able to get Sandro or Lol Heart, so it leaves me with Vidomina and maybe a human Sandro if uh, if he's going to be available anytime soon for free. Um, so let's start with this Astrologer summon. So I'm at 232,000 power. Let's summon 20, see how much power I'll get. So I already had one Thunder uh, Helmet from the previous pool, I've got another one. So I got one, just one legendary. Okay, so I got two, three, two power. Let's upgrade the artifacts. And yeah, well, we'll get a helmet to level two. It's a very good thing to do at the beginning of the server because uh, this will increase your power uh, quite significantly and you can progress through all the contest, content quick. Uh, however, after that, it's worth uh, stacking all your resources for an event when it's actually worth it. Uh, they actually changed the notice. Usually we were we were uh, able to uh, have a sneak peek of what's coming in the next week. So, for example, this week on uh, EU20 is uh, Castle Week. So, and on the end of the list, you could see what's happening the next week, but they've changed it and it's not saying anymore. So, we don't know what week is next. Um, so, uh, anyway, let's continue. So, I was at 232, two, now I'm at Two four zero, so that's eight thousand. Uh, sorry, eighty thousand. No, it's eight thousand power increase. Yeah. So it's eight thousand eight thousand power increase. Sorry, guys, I'm very tired today. Had a hard day of work. Uh, so eight thousand power is gonna help me clear the content. Let's see where I am at the moment. So I've cleared chapter twelve. Uh, I need a uh, level up to uh, get to chapter 13. Where is chapter 13? Let's find chapter 13, 12. Okay, so I need level 48 to get there. And I believe this is the uh, chapter that's going to unlock um, Solmer, which is a great hero for both PvE and PvP. It's worth investing into him. Mm, in the carnival, yeah, let's get some free essences. The reason I've also done these pulls is to get all these uh, essences here from uh, pulls because uh, it's, it's not a bad thing to get them for free and also that helps me to get these coins here and I want to try to get 700 to be able to get another SSA unit which will be quite important. Mm, so let's see where I am in Duel of the Champions. I'm rank uh, 151, which I'm quite happy about, not because I'm so uh, high or low, but because I know the server is still still got at least 151 people participating in events. Then we get uh, 32 people will uh, 
qualify for Battle of the Gods. So that, that will be interesting. We'll see who comes out on top in the arena. I'm on rank 143. Everyone else here is at similar power. Mm. When it comes to um, underground, I've got um, 97 diamonds today. And let's see the rankings. I don't know. First, let's see this event. So today's second day. So this opened. It's not worth invested in that. And this is something if you get enough artifacts. So tomorrow we'll have challenge normal instances. So if you challenge them um, up to 900, you'll get quite a lot of resources. It's worth doing it because you're upgrading your units anyway. So all these will be for free. Then we get a grand line. So you complete missions in shipyard. So it's also three rewards. And what is the highest tier? Yeah. So see when you spend diamonds, additionally claim voyage missions you were 80 times. So the one the lowest the lowest uh price to do it is 25 per um uh, 25 per uh, refresh. So if you if you manage to get them, you'll pay uh you'll pay a hundred for four so you need uh, 80 so that's 20 that's quite expensive but it's always a free artifact so um, you might consider doing it it's 2000 basically if i believe if you manage to get the cheapest one so it's 2000 for that which is not so great so i wouldn't i wouldn't really bother with it and then hero mastery refresh the hero mastery and you'll get certain rewards it's not really worth it 100 for just five scrolls come on guys it's a better ways to invest your diamonds anyway um so tomorrow i'll get another 50 shots of demon um we got a leech three star of a pack which is uh not so good anymore because the reason for that is uh, see when you do this single purchase uh, top ups you'll get diamonds and you'll be able to choose a box and uh, take a pick a unit of your choosing so if you choose leech you'll get the leech 80 shots of leech plus diamonds worth 49 pounds which is uh, 3,000, 3,200 diamonds. But if you just buy this pack, you won't get it. However, if you are whaling, it doesn't matter for you. Just buy it, get stronger units. And uh, when it comes to the capture Roland, even I still can't do it. My damage is still too low for that. I, I'm, I'm getting closer. I just need a couple more seconds. So once my units get stronger, I'll get it. And in here, I'm almost almost able to buy these demon craft gifts i'm gonna buy it because uh i'll need it for the machines it's quite expensive to uh get it considering uh, i can have five astro silver so which was gonna cost me only a thousand diamonds that, that alone's gonna cost me at least uh 4400 if i'm lucky to get this piece um so let's see uh leaderboards in the leaderboards, power wise, I'm 120 now. Around 120, we got Serafina with 630,000 power. Still running Sandro, three star at the moment, so five star. Five star Lich, which is quite power powerful. So uh, these players got full Necro team, so he's he's a force to be reckoned with. We got another Sandro, Lionheart, Elaine, two stars, running similar stuff, uh, well, full team. Then we got Phaedrus running Roland, which is quite interesting. Roland is rather a um, hero that's not currently in the meta. However, he's got quite a lot of power, so he gets away with it. Then we got Astral, which is going to be only which is going to be a strong hero but you'll need to invest quite a lot into him you'll need a lot of ssi units and then we got noel at rank 5 using sandro as well unit wise we got leech on first place because it's a five star leech so it's a really strong unit then we got heroes uh, sandro from seraphina so also he's galu so uh, that guy is not 
messing around he's going to only get stronger thanks to Gallo he will be quite high on PvE content as well so my guild uh, outcast will rank 1 we got almost uh, 1.2 million power so we we are at 2 and a well we are at 3 million power on top of our enemies again so we we progressed quite nicely this day. Uh, Starwise, uh, Seraphine and Faith and Lionheart are all, all are maxed on stars, so they cleared all the contents with free stats. Artifact power I'm at 68,000 now, which is rank 143. And we got Seraphina first. Uh, no one unlocked the Dragon Feather, Feather or um, Sword of the Frost yet. I believe let me just double check yep no one got it okay and machines are still locked so this is it this is uh server 20 however let's move to uh, sorry this is server 63 however let's move to server 20 where i'm gonna use where i'm gonna sh uh, use these um ssi unit souls and we'll see what random unit i'll get Okay, so this is EU20, um, almost 4, mi 4 million power, I'm really excited to cross this border. Uh, so as you can see here, I got uh, 720 coins, so I was able to buy that. Tomorrow I'll buy the Dragon Father um, chest, and what else I'll need to buy? I'll need to buy these prior stones, the... It's quite useful because I'm investing in spells now to increase the power of my um the power of my heroes. I'm also gonna buy the gold keys and finish off all these universal tokens and astro silver. This is the only things that I'm gonna invest. Um not well and these guys. I need casting crystals. I'll I'll end up buying them when we left with nine. So I'll buy them as well. But I'm gonna skip on a frost component pack. I don't need it at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Titan Thunder at the moment. So, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna open these uh, unit SSR tokens. Hopefully, I'll get uh, something useful. Oh, that's nice. I got 500 diamonds from uh, Dragon Invasion uh, boxes. It's always nice. And I also got. 888 diamonds from a one um, diamond pack today okay so I really like when I get this from these rewards I can uh, pick one of these four artifacts and I always pick the um, the ones that you get from to topping up a pound a day I'm gonna get uh, the bow I want the bow quite high as well as you can see I'm hoarding all these uh, boxes I just that's the person I, I am. So Dragon Steel Pack, I forgot to open that, okay. <laughs> so yeah, 26 rooster. As you can see, I got quite a lot of stuff here. I don't even bother opening. Uh, it's not needed, same with uh, my collection of talent points. Okay, so let's open it. Let's see what I get. Please no psychic. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Couldn't get a better unit that I wanted. This is a unit I want to six star as soon as possible. Not only for PvE content, but also for my Astral. So let's find my Giant and let's rank him up. So that's nice. So I only need um, 59 shards to make him five stars. So hopefully he will pop out on the next uh, tower event and I'll get him to five, maybe six stars with all these diamonds I've got. Also, um, what I wanted to mention is we got a new premium card. I didn't buy it yet because I had to invest in fixing my card today and I spent quite a lot of money on it. So, excuse me. so what's interesting here is on top of... Um, your typical stuff from the premium, you'll get a um, free SSR unit. You will also get... Oh, hold on. Let's 
quite a lot of shots I'm getting. Let me just do a quick map. So I got eight. Okay, never mind. So it's still the same. So you'll get a free SSI, random SSI unit, which as you could see, you, you can end up with giant just like me. But you also get an angel skin on top of it. Usually the skins are worth like 15 pounds themselves. But there was something... Okay, they remove it. There was some... Um, some kind of tickets here. And they are, they disappeared. So I thought I was still... Uh, I'm going to see it, but I wasn't able to do it at this time. So sadly they are gone. They might be added later on. And hmm, I think oh yes, one more thing. We got a new week Kingdom Championship, and we've been matched with um, Kingdom EU seventeen. So they've lost the last battle, just like we did, and they got two point eight two million power, while we had three million power. So we'll see how it plays out. Hopefully, it will be close. Because it's really exciting, it's something different. And the arenas we got open is Avli Arena again. We've got Deja Arena, which is Necropolis, as you can see. So my Sandro will uh, wreak havoc here. And we got Crowwood Arena again, which I'm gonna totally suck it. So these two arenas, I'll totally suck it. But that one, we'll see how many Sandros uh, add. So if you know how to counter Sandro using Necropolis units, oh, there might be something different here, because, uh, okay, let's see. This is more, okay, so this is interesting now, because on Avali, not only you'll have Rampart, but you'll play Inferno as well. So all these Rashkas, all these Xerons will probably dominate it. Then, oh, it's interesting. Then we got uh, Deja, Necropolis, and Tower. So not only um, your Sandros, but also your Astrals will be fighting here. So it will be Sandro versus Astral. And then in the Crewlet, we got uh, Stronghold, Dungeon, and Conflicts. So the reason I'm saying this is interesting because we got a very strong... Um, Dungeon play on play on our server server who's invested quite a lot, so I hope he will. Uh, not only that, he also has a very strong uh, kill go, so he is going to get a lot of points in this area for us. So I'm quite happy about it. I'll probably focus more on um, Deja uh, Arena because I've run both uh, Sandro and Astral, so I'll try to get as high as possible in the. Sadly, my Xeron is only a rank, it's only one star, so as well as all my other Inferno heroes, so it's, it's going to be a half for me. But hopefully my server is going to show up and we'll have a lot of activity, because last arena, or last kingdom fights, we have missed activity. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on a daily update. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have a nice day.